Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Friday, April 12th, 2013. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We'll start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures, and you'll see that the futures are trading lower by six and a quarter points to 1581 and a half per contract. It's a decent little de decline here. Uh, there's a lot to talk about today, so we're going to get into some other things right away. We'll start off first with J.P. Morgan. Uh, the company reported earnings uh, this morning before the opening bell. So that's the big news out there. Also, we have Wells Fargo we'll get into just a moment. But it looks like the reaction to J.P. Morgan slightly negative. Nothing horrible. Um, I'm not even sure what they reported. I think it was $1.59 per share. Uh, they beat on the uh, earnings side. They, they missed on the revenue side. And it looks like the, the company upped their dividend to $0.38 cents per share. So, uh, again... Um, the market, for the most part, it, it's becoming a non-event with JPM, uh, but we'll see if it does set the tone for the financials and if it does sell off later. If the stock does fall, watch for support on this thing around uh, the $47.40, $47 area if it does sell off. I'm not sure that that will happen. Right now, it's it's really uh, you know just down about $0.30, cents, $0.20 cents from yesterday's close, so there's really not a big reaction. Now, Wells Fargo had news as well. I don't know the specifics of Wells Fargo, but what I will say is, um, let's take a look at the stock. I think profit was up, but you can see a little bit of selling pressure in the stock. It closed at 37.51 yesterday, trading today at around 36.95. So, you know, it's down about 50 cents. Um, again, nothing great, uh, you know, profit increase for these banks, but they get free money. I mean, if they didn't increase, I mean, there'd be a problem. Um, and, and as it is, there may already still be a problem. So, uh, again, you know, not very impressive in my book uh, when you look at these banks, considering they can borrow from the Fed funds, uh, get Fed funds for, for 0%. So, and they could issue credit cards out there at roughly 17 18% on average. Uh, they, they buy up the stock market. They have, uh, you know, all these investment arms and these hedge fund subsidies. So, I mean, th there's a lot out there. Um, you know, it's it's almost mind blowing to think that they wouldn't make some money when you're given free money to do it. So in any case, that's what it is. Uh, so the market really um, looks looking down a little bit at those earnings. Uh, the European markets this morning very very important. Weak data coming out of Europe today. Um, uh, you're going to see pretty much all the European markets are lower. Uh, we have the German DAX down 1.3 percent. Uh, the FTSE 100, which is not part of the European Union, even though they are in Europe, they can print their own money. They're only down three tenths of one percent. France is down. CAC 40 is down one percent. Uh, the Milan index, which is Italy, down 1.2 percent, and Spain down one and a quarter percent. So uh, Europe is getting hit a little bit uh, this morning. Now in Asia last night, a couple things you want to know: the Nikkei eh, it sold down about a half a percent. Not a big deal. Only down 65 points. But the Shanghai index was down about a half a percent as well. Uh, but the Indian Sensex, the Bombay exchange, um, down 300 points, 1.6 percent lower. Uh, that is ugly. And you can see today, one of the stocks I'm going to put up in the in the chat room this morning is going to be Infosys. This stock is getting hammered. You can see it closed at 54 bucks, now trading at 44.70. So the Indian ADRs, be careful with them. Uh, they're very very ugly today. You want to be careful with the Indian ADRs, okay? So, um, again, read the daily, uh, read the uh, pre-market news and views report. I'll have some uh, different Indian ADRs in there. But uh, Indian ADRs it should get hammered today, uh, just off the back of Infosys, one of the leading stocks uh, in in India. Um, take a look at the futures. Looks like you have U U.S. retail sales down four tenths of one percent. U.S. producer price index down six tenths of one percent. These are ugly numbers. You'll see that the uh, futures are trading lower. Don't don't be fooled by this though. This early sell we saw it last week after the job number. Most often, bad numbers mean good things for the stock market because it means that the central banks will keep printing money. And it's uh, this is a little bit crazy, but this is just what we're seeing now. If the central bankers keep printing money and we keep getting worse and worse data. Oh boy, you better watch out. You better not cry because this is not going to be a pretty market going forward. So again, uh, right now, 
Uh, you do have the futures down about seven and a half, seven and a half to eight points. Um, not a pretty picture. You just had some economic data released, not very good, and uh, we'll just see how this market trades out. But again, the theme has been really up to this stage: bad news is good news, good news is great news. Bad news being uh, good because the Federal Reserve will print more money. So again, if if the markets start to go down with all this money printing being created, there's big problems out there. All right, all right. Let's take a look at gold this morning. Gold is is selling off pretty sharply. Uh, you do have gold down about $36 right now to $1,530 an ounce. You can see it here in the GLD. The GLD is getting hit pretty hard. It closed yesterday at 151.05. Today it's trading at 148.50. So the GLD is getting hit pretty hard at the moment. Um, we'll see if it does go down further. I happen to think there's a fair amount of support right here at these levels, but Hey, you know, I've seen big moves in gold in my lifetime, and uh, the way the gold market is getting hit these days, you got to be real careful with it. Um, let's take a look at uh, uh, oil today. You're seeing light sweet crude is also negative, uh, down by a buck fifty-three. That's a pretty decent decline. It's about 1.6 percent lower, uh, trading at ninety-one dollars and ninety-six cents uh, a barrel of light sweet crude. Let's take a look at the USO, which is a good proxy. For light sweet crude, and you'll see that's trading down at 32.90. It closed at 33.46. So that's a decent little dip this morning um, in everything inflationary. Uh, and you can just see the deflationary trends are back in play today. So that that's really what we're looking at when you see gold and oil down together. That is definitely a sign of deflation. Um, despite all of the central bank money printing that is taking place at the moment. Now it is a Friday. Rarely do we get a big down day on Friday, so you want to be a little bit careful, but we're long overdue for one, so I think traders should be aware that it can happen, and it does happen every so often, although it is far and few in between. Um, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. Again, watch those Indian ADRs. They're definitely under big pressure today. Uh, the European markets are selling off as well, and um, markets look like they could be a little bit vulnerable. Um, especially since the J.P. Morgan and the Wells Fargo earnings reports uh, were not, you know, a, as dynamic as everybody uh, anticipated. Uh, especially at all the talking heads yesterday saying how great they were going to be, and they really, they really weren't anything special considering all the free money that these banks get and and have. All right. With that said, everybody, we're going to leave it there, short and sweet today. I want to wish you all a great trading day. I want to wish you all a great weekend, and we'll see you on the charts a little bit later. Take care, everyone.